There you go. Yikes. Color. That's right, it's me, Scripter. How you doing, folks? I'm doing great. Look at all of this. We're back with another episode of Anunnaki Resource Center. Remember last episode, uh, which is about, from my point of view, 14 hours ago, when I said we were going to cook up some metal to make the industrial forge, the 2S or 3S forge? The forges are still running. I just logged in and they were still running. This is amazing. We have so much metal. I just cleaned them out. There is still 1500 in here, and it's only going to get worse. I mean, it's 1100 here, um, 1400 here, and there's another 800 here. So this is going to keep running for quite a while, unless we can make the forge. Now, let's have a look here. Surprise! There's 2500 metal ingots. That's what we needed. We have the 10 dryers which we were able to make. Let's just have a quick look if we could actually make the higher one, the Fiesen. So we have 63 of those and we have 8 of those to transform them. Do we have anything in here? There's 19. We could put in here. To transform those. See, these need 16 2 Essen. These need 32 3 Essen. In each of these, 32 needs 16 of those, and each of these needs 8 of those, if you want to convert from the ground up. So, getting 10 of these is 320. We have 10? With these we can make another... Oh, 5? No. Something around 4, I'd say. Almost. 16, 32, 64, right? So we still have some in that crafter thingy barrel, so we could make four, that's eight. That's 12 plus the 10. Um, that's 22. It's 32 we need for one, and we need 10 of those. So we won't be able to make the higher one, unless there's lots of stuff in here, which it isn't. Uh, give me all of that. And uh, no, we're gonna save on that because we still need that for some of the crops we're gonna put down. So I guess at the moment we're going with the Dreyessen Forge, which is already an upgrade from the standard one, the, the Zwei Essen. So we're gonna use those. And as you can see, we have everything we need. The exact amount. Craft item. Craft item. Stack up. Thank you. Now, where do we want to put that? I was thinking... Don't actually look as big as the regular forge. Is it just me? Or does this look tinier? A little bit, right? Oh, you fit perfectly in here. Just about. So we could have it in there. But then we have to walk all the way over here to put the metal into the bolt. There's our metal. Uh, minus the 2500 we just used. We could have put it over here. Now with the grill there it doesn't fit anymore, but it, that would have been nice. Could have just basically turned around, standing right here. Uh, not sure that worked. Also, that's the wrong wall. Mm, not anywhere over here, that's already way too cramped. We could take all of this away and just put it in here. That might work, we have to get rid of that. I'm not sure if this wall can stay, but we can remove those and put them somewhere else. This is our personal lockers with... Uh, all our extra stuff, like I found this little scuba mask here and I have my alpha armor in here, the two I found already. Um, put my water giant here because I found a canteen in a drop, you might have noticed. Uh, common crossbow and polar, yeah I just have those if we want to go underwater taming, stuff like that. So if you put it in here we can get rid of these, maybe except for one which will be used to make gasoline. That's a neat idea. You know what? Let me just set this up because I have to take all the resources out and back and forth. And I meet you right back once we're placing this. Nice and square. Uh, we will put that no clip fence back there. And as you can see from where I'm standing, we would be able to walk through here. I had to remove one of the vaults uh, to make this work. Let's see if we can put that back. But I think this is just fine. 
Also, I had to remove the water tap and all of that. Not overly worried about that. Maybe you can put it back? Never know. We'll see. There you go. Yikes. Color. Oh, this looks so weird. Anyway. Um, moved all the metal over in here. So this is what we have left smelting up. We could actually already stop this. Can I carry all of this? No, I cannot. I can barely carry this. Uh, I got cummy stuff on me at the moment. Since I was picking up that vault. Let's put that back in here. So we have some wood. I sorted this in the meantime. We have more than enough thatch. More than enough height. They stack up to 10,000. 10,000 stone. Chitin keratin shouldn't have a problem. Problem is fiber at the moment because we're using a lot of wood. So we need a lot of fiber. Uh, I got quite a good amount of oil. Thank you, Kami. Crystal, yeah, we still got a lot of those left. Oh, you know what? Didn't put all of that in here. And the metal, since it's a crafted or processed resource, goes in here. Put that in here. Yep. It's real pity that they don't run off electricity. That would be so nice. There are mods that do that, but we don't want to overcrowd this with mods. We just wanted to test these three. Well, should say two because the center is not a mod anymore, but Anunnaki and resource crops. We wanted to test these in conjunction and see how they work. Looks nice to me. So let's turn that on. Are we going to start anytime soon? Crafted sets of 40. Oh, yeah. 80. So the Zwei Forge, I guess, will do 40. This does 80. The next one does 160 then, or 120, depending on how that increases. Well, looking at the, the uh, Magical Essence, you need first 8, then 16, then 32, so it's always double. So it would be nice if this doubled as well, so the Fiesen would do 160, and the next one, uh, the last one, 320. That would be awesome. It's like 5 minutes crafting for 10,000 matter. Good, uh, we need to put that vault back down. Maybe over here? Is that a thing we can do? Oh yeah, that's definitely a thing we can do. If we find a spot where it fits. I do want to have this look nice. Without moving over there too much. I think we can do it right here. Is that straight? Anything you would call straight? Is there sh such a thing as straight when you have a round pillar? Oh my, just put it there. There you go, Kami gets it. And put all the gobble back in. <laughs> this is so much faster. Alright, that's done. Thank you very much. Uh, speaking of our resident cheater, he told me... He's not a cheater, I'm just saying that. Drives him mad. I like to drive him mad. You know, it's what bros do. Um, he actually dropped me a note in Skype saying, um, I should log in and have a look, there's a present for me uh, in the Bronto Yard. So, I wonder what that could be. Let's have a look. Since we're gonna name our personal dinosaurs with our personal tag, I have to put this in here so we don't confuse ourselves. Uh, you are Bismarck. This is just a battleship waiting to happen. So, oh. Is this it? Red and white? Well, the saddle definitely has our colors. Let's have a look. Oh, and it's black as well. That's red, white, and black. That's, well, that's our colors. Folks. That's gorgeous! Seven ah! Ow. Shouldn't have done that. Let's see. That's a no? Yeah, he, he definitely had my colors. Oh, that's so gorgeous! Look at this, we got a brown one. It's a high level one as well. I mean, 787? So, a third of that is... That must have been a 560? Something like that? You can calculate that, I don't mind. Let's have a look at the stats. Stamina, not too bad. Health, not too bad. Weight is a good start. This is awesome. This will get tons of berries. 
Don't really have much to do here except for self defense, maybe. How much do we get? Almost. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost 1337. Uh, let's do this. Oh. That's 900 weight per tick. I love that. That actually brings me to the next point. Uh, our very own dinosaurs. We gotta find a name for you soon. You're male or female? Male. That's good. Um, we're gonna go and have a look at our own base location. Since around here everything is pretty much done, uh, we have all the major stuff set up and we're gonna continue working on those crop plots to set up all the resource crops we can do. Mm, and then we're gonna take all those seeds we get from here to set up our own. See, this is already coming along. You know, I just took them out there like 10 minutes ago. No news here. No news here. Well, let's wait another 10 minutes and see if they get some, some more seeds. So, I'm gonna take you for a ride. And we're gonna go over here. So here we are. This is going to be our home base, as you well know. If you watched the last episodes. Right here we're gonna put our Bronto. And we're gonna section off this area by putting gates along here. Between these two spires, mountains, call them whatever you like. Uh, we might have to put some... What they call it, spike walls here. Just to make sure nothing falls off. Because eventually we want to have... A free roaming ape here to cover our fiber situation. Up here is a nice big plateau that we are going to use. Definitely, I mean, it's connected to our area. There's a staircase somewhere, I think, isn't there? Not sure. I think on the back, maybe. Otherwise, we just build a means to go up here. This is definitely nice to have. It's nice and flat, and we can use this for a really large greenhouse. There will be a second greenhouse area over here. Uh, these rocks are in the way. We can't remove them. These are part of the natural terrain. Uh, we can remove this one and that one. But of course, not this one. Would be too easy. Uh, there's definitely a staircase here. So if you want to use this backyard area, we can put a gate in here. That would work. And a single uh, spike wall up here to prevent creatures falling into this area. It's a little bit more tricky over here, but even here, some spike walls over there. And uh, some up there, and we can use all of this gates down in there. And this is all sectioned off. So we could have a, let's say, a poop farm down here. Put some Pheomias or Port of Dodos or something in here. Uh, collect all that poop. And use that for fertilizer. We'll see if we need that. Not 100% sure yet. But we have really a huge area to cover. This is flat ground where we can build on. This is flat ground we can build on. Stair down here. Uh, and all of this is flat ground we can build on. This is our main base. This area with the attached water pen which you've already seen. And we're gonna put gates along the beach and the behemoth gate in there. To close this off this will be our front yard. So, I've already started doing some little things here. As you can see, as you cannot see, as you can see now maybe, um, this is not all straight. I mean, it is straight per section, but then you have these weird angles where uh, the section itself are straight again, but this is not a 45 or 90 degree angle. There, we won't have the option to snap anything here. So what I've done is I've placed foundations. These are mock-up foundations. We're going to uh, replace those with stone. And maybe paint them green and see if that fits for a screen or something. Um, we're going to place those all along here. And as far as I can determine... Set up a station over here for our resources. Uh, give me just one of them. That should be enough for testing. As far as I can determine, we should be able... Not here, it's obstructed. Need non-collision foundations for that. To just continue this. We might need to work out how much higher we need to put this to work. But that's what I got the pillars and the fence foundations in there. You know the trick already if you've seen the last season. So once we've done that, uh, we should have a continuous floor going all through here. We should be able to intersect uh, in these areas, you know, foundations going this way and then foundations coming from this side at a weird angle. If we use the non-collision foundations, I hope we can do that so we have a continuous floor going on. Um, maybe it won't work right here where there's only like 5%. Uh, um, uncovered space then. If we can't put anything in there, we just place a crafting station there and nobody will see it. 
What I want to do here is something completely different from last season. This won't be a platform where everything is designed to be close to each other using all of the little mechanics we use for the vaults and stuff like that and the trapdoors. What we're going to do is we're going to set up production stations. So we're going to have one production station maybe right here, which is our taming station. So we'll have an input vault and fridge here, maybe stack on top of each other using a ceiling or something. And we have an output over here, the same, a vault and a fridge. Input, all the resources we need to make our taming, and output, uh, the finished product, of course. And in between, we will have all the stations we need. So we are going to use our resource crops. We need a kibble vending machine to make kibble. That needs iron ore. So we're up there, or up there, we're going to have a crop plot just for iron ore. And this will be dedicated to this production stream. We won't use... Um, this iron ore plot for anything else. If we need iron ore for another station somewhere, like for making armor or whatever, we will have a separate plot for that. So it's all dedicated. That also means if we need to have a smithy here, for example, to make um, the ammo, we are not going to use that smithy for anything else. If we need to make tools, we're going to have a separate smithy in the separate production area for that. And the madness that is building an arc is real, peeps. Well, <laughs> this stone foundation is sunken. I, um, good thing is I can destroy that later. I can still reach. Thing is, we can't place any more things here. Can we? Oh, yes, we can. We most certainly can. Can we snap that to the other snap point? This doesn't really matter. Nope, not that. No. So, that thing. The right set? Yeah, that is the right set point. Perfect. Uh, so now we can walk up here. Gorgeous. This is looking good, so I used the same trick as always. I used five, I think, fence foundations here, snapped that pillar to it, and then I could place uh, this one. And from here on out, I place the rest. So let me get rid of this, since we don't need it anymore. Yeah. Don't need all those resources. We got enough. There you go. There you go. Now, can't place anything there. So, non-collision foundations? Hmm, not so much. This doesn't work. Works for all the rest. Don't ask. It's arc, you know. Sometimes that just happens. So this is the, the edge um, to which we, we came here where uh, this happens. So we have this angle. Uh, did the same here. Worked fine. It's the same height, although it doesn't really look like it if you look closely. It's like half higher. So this ground must be a little bit uneven. And since I couldn't very well place these together, this one facing that direction, the next one facing that direction, they would snap. I had to place it over there, or well, somewhere here, so I chose the corner, which made sense to me. Same over there where that pillar is. Um, that makes it so that coming from the right, these are always a little bit higher and they stick through. Not overly worried about that. We're gonna replace this with stone maybe metal later definitely stone so it won't really show for the moment i just want to make sure i get this done and we have something to look at and see if this is what we want to do so you go in there see they overlap here and there it looks quite neat you know kind of like on a ship i think we have all those different angles didn't finish any of this because I ran out of formations and had to craft some more. Now, about this. See, this works. Not too sure what to do about this. Can I? No, I cannot place this one, which would be perfect. I can place this one, but then you would get this weird corner, right? I don't want that. And if I place this one, you have this one foundation sticking in here. Well, that you really see it when it's stone. So I guess we leave it like that. Um, remove all of this. Thank you very much. Nothing fits here. That fits. Even that's the same obstruction as this would be. N now it fits. How does that make sense? I'm not even gonna ask. I'm just happy it fits. Good thing is, once you start replacing all of that stuff... Or do we want it this way or that way? This needs those two. This just needs that one. That's 
pretty much done. Once we start replacing all this stuff, um, you know, the developers removed the uh, collision detection when you're actually replacing, so we could use regular foundations and replace all these non-collision foundations. And even though they would collide, since you're replacing existing structures, nothing happens. Well, nothing in terms of it will not obstruct you or not let you do that. It will just work, which is nice. No. Bam on things. Why does this work if it's obstructing all of the pillars? And then we have this one over on the other side. Joking my head as if you could see it. The one over there, that doesn't work. That's weird. So, and then this happened. <laughs> I started replacing the floor. Um, as you can see over here where those two angles meet. Well, yes, if you really look at it, you see that this is one foundation here. And this is one look facing the other direction. It's just a little bit too high. Maybe if we took this out. Yeah. That's better, right? You don't really see it if you don't look too hard, which we're not really going to do. It will be quite fun once we start coloring all of this. So we need to see if we're actually going to color the floor or if we put up some colored signs or something to... Uh, distinguish the, the different crafting stations. I'm not sure about that yet. Haven't finished, as you can see, but I put in the gate here uh, with the ramp. I couldn't put a foundation here for whatever reason. I mean, it fits perfectly. It's not obstructed by anything. Hmm. Don't ask. It's dark. Close. Uh, this fits. There's a little bit of room showing on top there. Not too worried about that. That gate is square and centered to that arch. And still sort of attached to the ceilings. It's just about... Uh, on the foundations, I mean, sorry. Uh, just about on the foundations here. Otherwise, you see, it would go down a little bit lower. The amount it's sticking through the foundation, it would be sticking through the, the actual floor. And that would make that up there show quite significantly. I mean, it's, it's about double the height than that you would see over there. Uh, the only thing that I don't like really is that you can see it right here where the ramp is attached that this gate is not square to the foundations but actually to the wall behind that. As you can see this is not in any way um, parallel but it is parallel to this. So yeah, it's not a perfect square this, this platform we're building on. Um, then I went ahead and put these down. It's four uh, wide. If I made it three wide you would have half the platform showing, basically like it is uh, over here. Uh, over here I don't mind, because we built a structure on top of here, that's completely fine. But here, I really wanted to use that space. And it looks quite okay, I think. Especially when we start coloring it from down here. Yeah, it is sort of roughly centered. It's hard to center it if there's uh, nothing you can snap it to, as you full well know. And uh, I use another little trick here. These foundations would be quite higher. Where is it? There. You see how, how high they actually are. This is where they would place, this height. So what I did is I basically aligned this foundation here, then I went into K-Mode, exchanged the foundation before I placed it with a pillar, and the pillar places you know, a little bit lower, and then I snap this foundation to the placed pillar, and that accounts for the height difference right here. So, you are not needed anymore, thank you very much. That's that. So we have our landing platform, where you will go. Might even build a fence around this, at least the first three, like a metal fence to make it look cool, or maybe even, yeah, stone fence might look cool as well here. Everything is stone in this area. Even have a ceiling, how nice is that? I think that's uh, enough building for today, for this area. The next thing we need to do is really get the gates going so we can close this area off. And then we need to get rid of all the resources, see what spawns back in. Uh, have a look at where we want to have our dinosaurs. We have to place our T-Rex somewhere in here to defend the rest of our dinosaurs. We will have to place our uh, Bronto in here for the moment. And this guy and the Alpha Argy and all of the others that we have and are going to get 
which is the next thing we need to do, going to get our own resource gatherers. We have quite a few resources right here from replacing all those um, wooden mock-up structures we put up. But we're going to take those back to the center, community center, and store them there for the time being because we don't have any storage right now. Good thing is with these small vaults you can place them anywhere. I mean you can fit two on a ceiling so we might be able to put one here to cover that up. You know a little crook maybe. Um, still have the fridge to place for all those crafting stations and whatnot. Maybe you can put a fabricator right over this. We'll see. I'm not quite sure yet where we put things and how it's gonna look like. Also need a way to attach to that staircase over there because currently this is a standalone structure. And I definitely want to be able to get over there, and this might be the way to go. Just, you know, put ceilings here, pillars, and then all the way over there. Maybe use a room that we can build down there, where we could um, put our generator in, to have a separate building for that, and then just use the roof of that to get over there. To not have ceilings, well, or to have ceilings that are at least attached to a building. Not 100% sure what we're going to do with that. Um, I'm definitely sure that this is going to be a really, really nice and fun project. I'm having fun doing this. This is uh, everything in one. This is arc building peculiarities. This is math. This is geometry. And this is a great bunch of ideas. And we're going to continue doing this. So, for now, um, with this lovely picture of an almost finished structure, I say that's it for today, folks. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more. Leave a comment if you feel like it. Don't forget to enjoy yourselves. See you soon. Bye.